Hey Gamer Nation, Fat Preacher Man here, and today we're going to talk a little bit about keeping your consoles alive and active as long as possible. On my older channel, Fat Preacher Man, I did a video about um, preventing the yellow light of death, uh, the blinking red light, whatever you would call it that happens to the PS3, um, or even the red ring of death that could happen to the 360. And so this is for new generations, you can even apply it to the older systems, a lot of the things are still valid. Uh, but just some new tips, new generation of systems, so I thought I'd share. So let's get started. First off, let's just get this out of the way. All machines fail. Anything that is built by man is going to have a shelf life. It, it'll have a, a maximum use, and then it will stop. But if you take care of it and, and, you, and you, you invest in it a little bit, you can get it to last longer. So that's what this is all about. Number one, one of the main enemies of any console, any electronic piece of equipment is dust. Most dust is actually human skin, hair, uh, particles uh, of carbon floating in the air. And when it gets on things, it acts as an insulator and can generate, help generate heat, uh, can get in the components, get on the lenses of especially the Blu-ray readers, the DVD readers, CD readers. So any electronics that you have, you want to dust regularly. You want to dust your whole place, but especially your systems. Uh, around the PS4, it has nice little thin vents. You want to just take something, uh, you can get a, a cloth at a CVS, your local pharmacy, get them online, uh, the special little anti-dust cloths, and you can just wipe that off and, and you're good to go. Um, and if you keep your house kind of dust free, if you change your air filter every once in a while, that'll help cut that down. And the more pets that you have, the more you're going to want to dust frequently and keep your system clean. Um, and I didn't really pick up on this till I was older. When I was younger and I had systems or you know, I lived with my, my grandmother and she would make me dust. I didn't get the point, but I can see now why it's so important, especially have her half thing if you saw my old video, which was a little popular on Fat Preacher Man. One of the things I really noticed about when I when I did try to take care of the PS3 to fix it, to repair it, was all the dust that came out. All the dust had been and I thought I was doing a good job, but obviously there's always room for improvement. And dust again what we just mentioned number two ties into it which is heat you have to keep the system ventilated um, to reduce the amount of heat uh, I, I haven't had my ps4 overheat yet I don't my ps3 I don't ever remember it overheating but heat is what caused the breakdown in the ps3 systems same thing that happened to the 360 it was heat so you want to keep these systems ventilated make sure there's you know at least one to two inches of space around every edge if you can help it don't put it in an enclosed area no matter how cool it looks and how how much it helps organize try to have it on top so there's plenty of airflow um, and again that dust will will, will compound that uh, the more cords you have if it's next to your TV other heat sources other electronics equipment a lot of us gamers have more than one system so when they're next to each other you have a TV box going all those things generate heat and if it's trying to cool air by sucking fresh air in and blowing the hot air out if it's sucking in hot air that again is going to defeat the purpose so um, one of the things that goes along again, we, we talked about dust, and the the lens, the, the, the laser lens reader is, is again, discs. I've mentioned this before in one of my other videos. If you're not using the disc that's in there, eject it. Um, the PS3 was really bad for this. As soon as you turn, uh, you go, the cross media bar goes across that there's a disc, or when you turn the system on, it's going to read the disc and see what it is, and it's going to keep doing that every once in a while so that when every time it does it the motor has to spin and the motor on the laser has to spin so that the more you use a motor eventually the sooner it's going to wear down so that's extra electricity extra wear on the motor and you might get you know with the with the auto disc feed trays like they have now on the PS4 and the early model PS3s you don't want to have the system break down or electricity go out or something happen to have the disc get stuck in there so if you just get in the habit of taking the disc out when you're done playing yeah, it takes an extra second to put it in, but you know you're secure in case something goes wrong. Uh, along with that, I really don't believe in, number, so this is number four, I don't believe in unnecessary connections. If you're not using a device, don't plug it up. Even though that whole thing you can do with the PS4 where you can have put it in standby mode and have your, your uh, controller charging um, while it's turned off, it's not really turned off because it's in standby. It, it's using electricity, and that electricity is flowing through the system. So instead, what I do is I have an extra uh, charger for my uh, for my cell phone. My you know my I have a Samsung Galaxy S2, and that same type of charger, that mini USB charger, works on the PS4 controller. 
Um, so I just plug it into that and that way even if the battery is low I can have that controller plugged in next to me wherever I'm sitting in the living room or wherever whatever edge of the couch there's always a, a outlet nearby so I don't have to worry about a controller if the battery gets too low and it's a good idea to always have backup controllers uh, I know that when a lot of us when we start out um, you want to buy games instead of extra controllers but always having a backup controller is really important especially if you're playing online that backup controller should be charging anytime you're not using it and that way you don't have to have it plugged into the system same thing goes for the camera if you have it and you're not using it don't have it plugged in any USB devices you're not using it don't plug it in if it's not necessary for what you're doing at the time don't use it the only thing that I would always have plugged in is I always hard hardline my systems if I can instead of using the Wi-Fi um, because the Wi-Fi it, it always has to keep seeking that signal so it's, you, and then it's just automatically going to give you weaker online no matter how strong your your uh, uh, ISP is and, and your internet connection is going to be weaker than if you hardline it to your internet connection so use that use that port and that way it's always there it's always connected and you don't have to have your Wi-Fi searching for a signal and things of that order uh, this one it goes it, you have to be careful and you have to decide what's best for you for number five is do you put it on its side or do you keep it flat and I would tell you if you have pets or small children then to keep it flat uh, even though I do think for heat wise and even aesthetics it's better standing up on its side I think it looks better it's less heat flat on it so it has more air circulating around it so if you can do that you have a stable home you're not living in an earthquake zone then keep it standing up but if you have those children if you have cats that are jumper or, or dogs that chase each other around and bump into things um, and you don't want to feel like buying the stand then just let it be flat and just again keep that that circulation around it but just like any system though the one system that I found that was the worst for this was the 360 the laser was too close to the disc so what would happen is the disc would if you bumped it if you touched it, even pushing the power button while the disc was spinning the laser was so close that it would hit the hit the disc and create these perfect concentric circles on the disc because the laser was actually rubbing up against the disc I never had that problem with the PS3 even though it had been bumped when it was moved uh, blu-rays are stronger but still you don't want that laser to rub up against the disc it's not good for the laser or for the disc um, now if you have talking about heat going back to that it, let's say you live in a place where it's just continually warm you your parents are really cheap with the air conditioner or you're really cheap with the air conditioner as a parent myself um, or your air condition just doesn't keep the house cool or you have so many electronics in your room or or wherever in your man cave where you have the system and it's just it's just continually warm there's not a lot of circulation over there you might want to think about getting a laptop cooler and uh, what that does is, is extra fans that blow from underneath doesn't connect into your system doesn't need to it just blows extra air up into the bottom of the system to help cool it down help keep air circulating um, I had to use one um, on a laptop specifically and when I was done with that I found that it fit nicely under the PS3 at the time and was able to use it for that so it helped cool that and uh, again it doesn't have it's not one of those fan models that plugs in to boost the fans in the system because I, I don't want to plug in any third-party stuff um, that I don't have to to my system so all those always made by third parties mad cats and all this stuff so if you're talking about PS3 I never recommend those. I would rather you get a laptop cooler, put that underneath of there, and you can get those online from Amazon, eBay, stuff like that. 20, 30 bucks, and you're good to go. I would also, uh, depending upon how you, the room that the system is in is set up, do your best to avoid having it sit in direct sunlight. Um, because that sun, you'd be surprised how fast the sun can heat something up that is all black. It'll absorb that heat, that radiation, it'll warm up real fast, and again, you don't want anything to happen to it especially if you have it on auto update and that system comes on or you're playing and you're not thinking about it and it's on and it's making heat and the sun's beating on it so again just avoid direct sunlight if you can maybe put something up in the window to block the sunlight uh, do what you have to do um, no moisture I mean this kinda seems simple and I'm not talking about the direct moisture yet you don't want to put drinks up nearby it I mean you guys understand that but also think about things like how close is your shower or your kitchen to the room where you keep your your system because moisture droplets get in the air very easily especially if you take a hot shower and you come out all that steam comes out and those moisture droplets can get in there and start to corrode the system 
if you use air fresheners let's say your boys come over and y'all are playing and y'all stinking up the room just let the stink be in the room don't spray the air fresheners because those little moisture droplets because that's what it is the air freshener is droplets of moisture that go out that we breathe in that's why sometimes my wife sprays it I start coughing but don't spray it around your system anywhere your system your TV anything like that keep it those sprays away from electronics if you have to use them for some reason because those droplets will get in there sit on the mud on the boards on the connectors and start to corrode things um, if you are asthmatic or you have breathing problems you need to use a humidifier try to find a room where you can just use it without having it near the system because again all that moisture in the air will cause problems uh, this one is is just the thought that I had number nine minimize button usage you know the, the system itself has the the buttons on the front the PS4 does uh, for eject and for the power up but if you can try not to use them because it's much easier for a button to wear out on the controller and you replace that versus the buttons wearing out on the system um, and then you then that's no good so my recommendation is whenever you can hit the eject from the menus uh, power up from the controller power down from the controller and don't use the buttons on the system. Um, of course you want to know the system itself should have little to nothing on top of it at all times. The only thing I think I ever put on top of mine is a controller. Like I have the, uh, so I have the one controller that I'm playing with and the charge controller sitting on top so that if I need it or somebody else is going to play I know right where it is. Um, especially I've, I heard uh, horror stories about this somebody trying to use a dust cover. Um, you know, which is just basically a piece of plastic or, or cloth that drapes over the system, and that sounds like a good idea to keep the dust out. But what what happened that I've heard of is that somebody's system came on, or somebody hit a button and it turned on, and they didn't hear it. So the system starts doing what the system is doing, running and heating, and it gets trapped in there because of the dust cover, and then the system could you know cause damage to itself or even worse, catch on fire and cause damage to the home because the the fans are trying to blow the heat out, but all it's doing is trapping and creating basically a little oven for itself. So, as much as it sounds good, I would never use a dust cover and don't keep anything on top. Uh, if you can, if you have one, if you can grab one of the 10, 15, 20 bucks, a power surge um, outlet, you know, little strip, plug it in, has a little power switch, and again, that will help with number of outlets and in case there is a power surge, God forbid. Um, your, your system is protected. Um, this one is something that I did I'm going to show you on the wall. Uh, the power outlet that I use for my system is connected to the light switch and I've had people accidentally when they go to flip the light switch for the outside because there's two switches hit the wrong one and the system shuts off in the middle of somebody playing, watching a movie, whatever. So I just take, they have little plastic caps that you can buy and put over it um, but you can also just take a clear piece of tape, which is what I did, a clear piece of packaging tape, put it on top of it, nobody needs to use the switch, and you're good to go. Cheap, effective, and it stops your system from, you could be in the middle of saving, which they always, always tell you is detrimental to your save and to your system. Um, you could be in the middle of an upload, an install, and somebody hits that switch by the most simplest of accidents and just mess you up. Um, this one again goes to your house, your setup, but how low or high your system is from the floor. You want to keep it as low to the floor as you can without actually being on the floor. I would say um, optimal is about a foot above the floor because the heat rises and so you want it, it again as far away from the heat as possible, but you don't want it on the floor because that's where the most dust settles. If you have pets, you have to make that decision. If you have children, you have to make your decision based upon what's best for your, your pets and your kids. And the system itself um, you know kids stick all sorts of things in the systems so above the heat and above the dust it comes keeping that your kids safe from the system and the system safe from your kids animals will stand on things they'll chew on cords knock things over and if you have animals a lot of that fur settles to the floor too so you again you have to decide based upon what's best for your house and your setup and your current family situation and the last one that I have for you number 14 is think about again we talked about earlier if your house has is root that or the room that it's in is very warm um, or you just don't have air condition or your air condition is on the fritz or even if it's just 
for some reason the air conditioning doesn't just hit where the system and the TV is maybe you put set up a, a, a fan if you have a ceiling fan turn that baby on if not get one of those little circular fans or a box fan and just aim it in the direction so that air will circulate because you don't want hot spots developing in the room and all that heat being soaked up into your system and giving a possibility of breaking it down well I think that's all I wanted to talk about again if you want to see the older version of this video uh, there's a link here in the description and this link also will take you back to my old page hopefully if you're a fan of the old page you'll become a fan of the new one you'll you'll like us you'll subscribe and send others our way if you like what we're doing here if you want to be a part of gamer nation like subscribe share hit us up on Facebook on Twitter and we'll talk at you soon Jesus bless you and good gaming